Hey guys, I just want to show you this little recap video of the stream. Now, uh, if you missed the stream and really, really want to go watch it, there will be two videos that you can go watch. They'll be both in the description. They're both from um, Justin TV or Twitch TV, I mean. Um, so you can go in, uh, go through those links and you can watch them. They're very, very long. I didn't know how to upload them to YouTube. I, I've never done it before. So I said, you can just go there if you want to watch. So with that being said, um, I'll go through everything that I done. The first thing we done was the courthouse. We extended it the back of it so we could fit more in because it was really small. And we added this little area. It's like a little court, uh, this place where the criminal stands, where the audience stands. This is where the jury stands uh, or sits or whatever. <laughs> this is where the judges are. And we had little f um, flags. We've added flags all over the city. And then once the, the sentence has been passed or whatever, they get dragged down here into, I need to turn this on, In shit, into ugh, the prison. This is the prison. I uh, got loads of crazy cool ideas. Um, add water up here so the water looks like it's dripping down. Then of course, because there's water dripping down, there'll be moss and vines growing inside here. Uh, of course, it's not gonna be well maintained because it's a prison. Uh, there's cobwebs, we have redstone lighting, um, the floor is very gritty because it's gravel and we have cobble in between because they're not really taking care of this. Inside all of these we have test certificates because it suits the texture pack and stuff I think. Um, inside call the cauldron, for some, he's taking a crap right now so. <laughs> he's in the cauldron of course with the water inside it and the thing in the back. And then these are all the, where they sleep? And that's the same dealio with all the other cells. He's also taking a crap. And is he? No, they're not. And oh, he is. And they're talking. Oh, he's happy he is. <laughs> and they're all just mixed up, mixed and matched and stuff. To make them all look cool. Then we have a torture room. This is where they can either roast or they can press the switch and they can fall into fire and burn to death. Uh, they're burning to death anyway. But uh, this is the little wheel thing. You press this and the wheel, well, obviously it won't, but that's the idea. Um, here is the thing that I I don't know if you either this is the one where you get stretched or the one that comes down and squashes you. Uh, don't know yet. This is a little creeper pit because we need to add in some Minecraft torture stuff. And then here is a little glimmer of hope, but you're inside here and you're like, oh man, I'm so close, it's so far. <laughs> this is supposed to be smashing together, but I didn't put the redstone together to do it. Um, here is a little place where you dunk in the water, uh, get your head dunked into water or whatever. That was pretty much it. We came up with then this sort of thing that um. Uh, the, this is blood as well. Oh, as well, there's lava inside here as well. Did the same thing with the water, so it looks like blood is dripping from the ceilings. So yeah, it's a really cool idea, I think. Um, and then we made it, so we had a little competition and live stream that I, I said like, oh, whoever comes up with the number inside my head between 1 and 100, um, is, gets, um, their name on the map. So I found the person who it was, and we made it look like he got tortured and dragged along the floor and put into this cell. And he guessed the number right, which was number 74. So we made him prisoner number 74. And that's his name. Uh, inside his cell, we made it look like he escaped. So there's his blood trail and he blood all the way. And he escaped and uh, there's a sewers is right behind this. So that leads right into the sewers. And so he escaped. I just, that was just a little fun, fun thing to do. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for um, the prison we could do. We could go through everything I'd done very, very fast. But this took a while to do. It was all planning and, you know. Um, the second thing that we done was we started adding loads of um, flags around the city just to give it more color and stuff. There's flags everywhere. Still need to add a lot more, add a lot more flags. And once that's done, the city look a lot more colorful. Really want it to be a city that's really representing itself, you know, uh, because it's it's proud to be where it is and you know all that sort of jazz. This was a very clever one we came up with together. Uh, we made a little stage. I destroyed the buildings here and I was like, we need to make a stage here. And then we came up with a really cool idea to make a backdrop and make it look like a proper play. So here's the little seats and there you go. It's like a little backdrop with clouds and the sun and a little tree and uh, it all just looks really, really cool. Now the grass and a little lake, a little mountainy thing. And then a cat and a dog. That was the very first cat I've ever tamed or what are they called ocelots or yeah the very first one i ever tamed it's sort of funny <laughs> doing trying to do in the video i had no idea how to do it the cat was just running away from me and then i figured out you have to stand still and be like you're kidding, you're kidding. did not know that but that was the, um the little set we done then i thought that was a really really clever idea i really liked that idea a lot 
Um, I think I, like, I don't think there's anything. I was going to add a roof, but then it just made it too dark. It looked way better without a roof. And of course, there's hardly going to be anyone up here going, oh, who's up here? Hardly, you know, so the, the curtain, these are supposed to be curtains. And when the curtains are closed, you can't really see anything anyway, you know. Um, besides that, then we moved on to the lighthouse, which is over here. Watch a paranormal, paranormal activity here, and this is freaking me out. Not really. It's actually not that scary, really. Paranormal, paranormal activity 2, I mean. Just saw, like, uh, some sort of hoover flowing along the floor. That was weird. <laughs> anyway, back to this. We added the ships and made one inside here with the sails up. And to think the, this is enough ships, I'm not going to add any more. Probably going to add a some, few more small ones and one bigger warship. Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. But this is the lighthouse. Really skeptical about putting the brick up here, but I did in the end, and it looked really, really nice. But I was like, I don't know if it's gonna suit. A little flag up here, glowstone behind bars, as you can see. Then the inside, spiral staircase. This is like my first spiral staircase I've done. <laughs> it's crazy, I know, but I think it. Uh, I or I think I did one more as well. I think someone pointed out that I did do another one, but this is I. I couldn't even remember how I did them, so I had to make up another design. But it wasn't. It was pretty easy to do. It took me. It didn't take me that long. Uh, very plain inside. There's nowhere someone can live because I wanted it to be. He comes here to do his job and then he goes home. You know, sort of a thing. Flower pot, of course. Um, and then I made this landscape as well. I made this little pump in the the ground because we didn't have any um, and then you come down here and then he can get into his boat and head off back home so as you can see that's the lighthouse we done this again took like another hour and a half or so <laughs> I know I probably shouldn't have but um, lots of planning and making sure stuff is in the right place and of course he can get in the boat and then dock here and then go off into the city and then to finish the live stream um, what did we do then Oh yeah, we um, did this. We made a lumber mill. We came up with the idea that this whole place here was covered in um, uh, a forest and they cut it all down to make all this. And they're in the process of cutting down this area over here and they made a lumber mill and they took advantage of the little stream here to make a little water mill and a little sawmill inside there so they could cut up all the wood and uh, bring it up into the city and use it or whatever or cut it all down and use the wood existing wood here to make houses and make another draw that sort of stuff here as well little stone bridge uh, had a little wooden support underneath but it just looks silly it looked way better without the wood so this is the little bridge and then you come over into the lumber mill where again as I said they're cutting down all the forest um, so they can add more farmland or add whatever they want over here. Oh, tree grew, that's weird. Uh, as you can see. Oh, weird, no paranormal activity. There's a fucking baby floating. What the hell? Cool. <laughs> and this is the little saw thing. Um, and I made it look like there's logs here and there's logs tied down as such. Um, I was we were gonna make it look like a series of cogwheels and stuff, but it was getting too complicated and it wasn't worth it. So I made it look like it go under the house. So there's stuff happening underneath the house, you know, for to make it work. And that was actually pretty much what we did on the live stream. I it took a quite a while to do and it was more of the idea generation really than doing the actual build and then if we just added um water there to break up the monotonous of the mountain and stuff. Um uh, overall the live stream went really, really well um the ideas were really really good uh we finished up a lot of stuff that was supposed to be finished and uh, now there's a few things now that needs to be done um up here there needs to be flags added and i think i'm just gonna add them to these little bridge things uh i'm gonna get rid of the sword and do something else there and i'm thinking this area here is either going to be a museum or a library one or the other so the things I need to do before I finish this map up because I'm very close to finishing this map uh, library here or museum don't know cathedral we need to or cathedral citadel we need to finish that off down here is practically done here I'm thinking it's going to be ruins of an older city then here is going to be a statue like the one in Rio de Janeiro the one on top of the hill and stuff of Jesus 
and it's going to be facing this way with his hands spread out and it's going to be completely destroyed and wrecked and it's going to look really mangled with vines hanging down and such this, this is going to be full with trees and then i'm going to put jungle ones there as well just to break it up uh so it's going to just look completely in ruins again all of this is going to be uh ruins don't know what the storyline is going to be behind it yet but we'll have to wait and see so again there's going to be statue there ruins there museum or s library there don't know maybe it could be something else finish this off and finish off a few minor details that i haven't done like we have a crypt we have a sewers we have entertainment we have houses we've got place where they get their food we got the flags representing the city we got the warships we've got a courthouse we've got a prison we possibly might put a dungeon or like a, a proper dungeon underneath the citadel as well we've got a thieves guild we've got a barracks um we've got a barracks area over there we've got a dock we've got a lighthouse we've got a sawmill where they're getting all their um, wood from we've got the slums we've got a brothel we've got a black market we've got a crappy brothely brothely <laughs> we've got a crappy slum church we've got practically everything that i want in the map now i don't really want to add much more i think once i do those ruins over there do the museum or such up there and do the citadel i actually think i'm going to be done with the city i actually think it's going to be done yeah this has been the longest that i've done the done something in this map um or for the series and i think then we're going to be moving on to something new don't know what yet but i don't know if i'm going to do it on this map because this map has a lot of old stuff in it that i would like to change but i don't think i'm ever going to do it realistically i don't think i'm going to go back and finish up the nordic city or finish up the dwarven city or i think they're i think they're good the way they are now and i don't want to go back and like there's a lot of stuff to them that i need to change and i don't know if i'm gonna have the time to do that i'd rather move on to something new and make them or remake them better you know like stick with me on this now this is just a thought but i was thinking i could go into the mc paint or whatever that thing is and you know you can make those unbelievable custom landscapes i tried to do it recently and i did a really cool landscape um <clears throat> but i'm thinking of doing something like that making a really really cool landscape planning it all out because i didn't plan any of this i winged the whole thing I did not plan I was going to make that cathedral. I did not plan I was going to do a time lapse. I did not plan this. I just made a crazy landscape and tried to make something on it. <clears throat> That's what I usually do. I don't usually make something. Like, I hate it when people make a flat landscape or load a flat world and make, like, this really nice city on it. And you're just like, realistically, that you couldn't have done that. And, like, I know it's Minecraft. And I know it's whatever you want to do in Minecraft is whatever you want to do. But... I think it looks a lot nicer when you make a city into the landscape instead of making the city and then making a landscape around it. Um, and that's what the city is in a nutshell. It's I've made the landscape and I made the city around it, which most cities would have been made in real life anyway. Of course, there's going to be small bit of terraforming, but not a lot. Um, and uh, I also wanted to make this texture pack look good in a, or make this texture pack, make it look good in the default texture pack. Because of course there's a lot of people out there as well that change their um, texture pack to make it look good in the, 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 their texture pack. So when you change it into like the normal texture pack, the, the, the whole map looks like it's tripped out on mushrooms and fucking speed, you know, it's just loads of colors and all the wool and stuff it just i've seen it so much and it's just not what i like to do i know a lot of people suggested me to do that but i i want to make the map look good in the default texture pack and i feel like it does there's very few stuff that does not look good in it with the default texture pack um of course there's a few things like the glowstone maybe could be something else could be torches or something like that but i think it still looks good um and yeah, everything still looks like what it's supposed to look like. That still looks like a bathhouse, still looks like a courthouse, still looks like a cathedral, still looks like what it's supposed to, even the... Actually, how does the stage look? I did not look at that at all. I try to make everything look good, as I said, in the default texture pack, so nobody needs a texture pack in order for it to look good for them, you know? And, oh shit. Oh, it still looks really nice. <laughs> looks like they're hidden even more behind the stuff now. Of course, the paintings, there they can't be helped, but... um you can easily remove them they're not needed there it just adds a bit of life 
because they look really cool and the doku craft one uh oh, the, le- the the grass looks a lot smaller in the text work that's where i did not notice that uh as i said once i have those minor details done i think i've finished this map and i don't know how i'm going to distribute it what i was thinking of the with the the land idea i could even import this into a new world into the one where i completely custom make the whole landscape and start making new cities in that as well instead because right now i think the human city is overshining everything else i don't know what you guys think let me know but i think it's like i made the nordic city then i make the orc city and then the orc city just overshined everything it was just like huge then the dwarf city was just like huge underground and you know everything else i i feel like this is this is overshining everything else now of course i don't know what you guys think let me know but i could import this into a new world and start making a brand new map um with like completely custom custom made um custom um landscapes and stuff i could do such cool stuff i have such cool ideas but i don't know what you guys think should i just leave this should i just leave this make it a download and move on should i import it into a new world i don't know if i'm even going to make it a download like i know i said i was going to but like a lot of people stole my map my my other map I know I said people could use it, but I didn't say people could use it for, like, making it into their server and doing whatever. Like, if people ask me, then maybe I might let them. But people were taking it as their own. They were putting it up on websites so people could give them hits and give them likes and all that sort of stuff. People re-uploading my, my map on um, YouTube and such. Like, loads of people were taking my thing and it just really annoyed me. And I know it's inevitable. I know it's going to happen. But um, I don't know how I'm going to release this. Um... I really don't know like I honestly honestly don't want this to become someone's spawn location for the server because I might do that myself you know and I don't really like the idea of people just turning it into why did I just do that shit I knew I was can I put this down eh eh sweet <laughs> I say I don't want people just turning my stuff into servers or turning this into that I, I I don't know or like taking my stuff and just adding bits on and then putting it off as their own work you know <laughs> so I did all we'll have to wait and see what happens but let me know what you think about that whole custom landscape idea and about of course the ideas about the ruins and stuff down there tell me what you guys think um I think that's pretty much it. The live stream again went really well. Thanks for everyone who tuned in. I might do stuff like that in the future because it went so well. Um, and yeah. Tell me what you guys think I should do. Because right now, this is overshining everything. I could just take this out of this map, put it into a new one and make up a new story. It wouldn't be that hard. I don't even think I need a story. Like It could just be a city. It doesn't need to be at war with anyone because right now it still doesn't look like it's at war. You know, I know I had loads of plans and stuff, but... I, I would really have to go back and change a lot of the Orc City and I don't feel like doing that because I'd rather move on to bigger and better stuff, you know. But again, let me know what you guys think. I'm uh, going to end it here. Please like the video because that helps me the most. It helps me expand my videos so more people can see, more people can like, more people sub, more videos I do. So please, please like the video. Um, Again, leave your comments uh, below about everything that I've talked about, really, because I really need your help on this one. Um, because we're coming to the end of this, of this epic journey. I think it turned out really well. As I said, very few left, very, very, very little left to do. And we're moving on then. So again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. They're already in there, Jesus. No, he's taking over everything. Oh, there's a combat pit. What's in it? Oh, here the knights. Look at that. Oh, go on, kill them. Oh, go on. Oh, be so.